Do nootropics really work? And if yes, what can you expect from them? Let's find out. Hey, what's up? Greg here, the founder of Your Inception. Welcome to my channel where you can learn top secrets about nootropics. Subscribe below to start your journey. With the rise of popularity of nootropics, many people talk about how effective nootropics really are, how do they work, what kind of benefits do they bring, are they safe, how to stack them, where to buy them, and so on. Now, one of the biggest issues I have with that is that most people have no idea about nootropics, how they work, um, what you can expect from them, and they really make some weird claims. Um, and, and what I'm really worried about is that such claims are made by journalists and you know they write about them. And I've recently came across some articles that really made some really stupid uh, comments about nootropics. So I've decided to shoot this video to answer you know, the most important question when it comes to nootropics and that is, do they work, yes or no? And if yes, what to expect from them? So first of all, you have to keep in mind there are around 84, 85, maybe even up to 90 compounds available on the market that are classified as nootropics. So if you generalize um, the effects of nootropics, you're really gonna make a big mistake here because you have to look at each individual nootropic compound and look at the benefits, look at the side effects, look at the studies, and then make a decision if a particular nootropic compound works or if it doesn't work. Now, what you're gonna find out is if you go through all 85 that we at your inception have found that some of them really provide amazing benefits, some are somehow in between, like they might work or they might not work, we are still not sure, and some don't do anything. And that's how it is. You know, it's really hard then to, to say all nootropics work or all nootropics don't work. Some nootropics do and some don't. But if you wanna get some benefits or if you wanna improve your cognitive performance, if you wanna improve your sleep and so on, then definitely we recommend taking nootropics because you can find some amazing nootropic compounds on the market that will provide a lot of benefits to healthy individuals. And that's just how it is. Now, one of the issues I have is that a lot of people, especially journalists, they mix nootropics with smart drugs and they're not the same thing. They never were and they will never be. Why? Well, because smart drugs, as the name says it, they are drugs, right? And you need a prescription or they might be illegal in certain countries like, you know, Adderall, Modafinil, Ritalin. If you are a student at Harvard, you probably know what I'm talking about, right? Now, those drugs can be really effective uh, on healthy individuals. There's no doubt about it. But they were developed to help sick people, people with ADHD, people with um, sleep-related issues, and so on. It really depends on the, on the drug. So they're not nootropics because nootropics, by definition, are mainly natural compounds that leave no adverse side effects. So. Try modafinil, take it every single day for a couple of months and see what happens. I can you know, guarantee you that most of you will have very adverse side effects you don't want to experience, you don't want to have. So can smart drugs be classified as nootropics? No, they cannot be and they will never be. So please stop making this mistake. So another thing that bothers me here is that you know some people, mainly journalists, often talk about this movie called Limitless with Bradley Cooper and they say, you know, this guy took uh, those nootropics and he had an improved memory. He had an increased IQ immediately overnight. He was able to work better and faster and, and think like a genius, you know, and just after taking one or two uh, nootropic pills. But that's not what happened. I mean, first of all, this is a movie, all right? And this is far from reality. Secondly, he wasn't taking nootropics. He was taking smart drugs. Now people on forums often fight if he was taking modafinil, Ritalin, if maybe something else like the NZT48, I don't know. But he was not taking nootropics, he was taking some very powerful drugs that left a lot of side effects. For example, his memory was skipping. So, by definition we know, nootropics should leave no side effects. But in the movie you see that, you know, he had severe side effects. So. Was he taking nootropics? Of course not. I mean, nootropics are not some kind of magical pills that they would instantly increase your IQ or memory or make you extremely productive. You know, they're not like, they're not magical, you know? They're just dietary supplements, mainly. You can buy them in stores, you can buy them in pharmacies, you can buy them online. They're legal in most uh, Western countries, let's say like this. Um, and they can definitely help. They can provide short-term benefits. They can improve your memory, 
they can slow down cognitive decline, they can make you more focused, they can increase your attention, improve your mood, they can make you more productive, more creative. I mean, they do provide a lot of benefits. Um, if you just think of caffeine, I mean, you just think what, what happens to you when you drink a cup of coffee, a strong black coffee, you know, you will be in a better mood, you might be more focused, you might feel better. Now, if you add a couple of more nootropic compounds to caffeine, you're gonna feel better, even more focused, um, even more creative maybe. It really depends on what kind of compounds you add to uh, caffeine, for example. Now, nootropics also provide long-term benefits, right? So they can help with neuroregeneration, uh, they can, as I said before, slow down cognitive decline, uh, they can help people with depression, um, with sl severe sleep-related issues, they can calm me down, you know, and so on. They, they can provide a lot of benefits. But again, I'm not talking about all nootropics, I'm talking about specific nootropic compounds that are proven to have, um, have been well studied and, you know, we know uh, what kind of effects do they bring. There's also a question of anti-aging. Can nootropics help with anti-aging? And, you know, you see certain studies on resveratrol, on coenzyme uh, Q10, for example, on turmeric and so on, that have a lot of antioxidants and, uh, pro and give us anti-inflammatory benefits or provide those effects. Um, that may potentially uh, slow down um, your aging or may improve your overall health. So, but we don't know yet like how effective they are, uh, what do they really do. We need studies to confirm that. Until then, yes, we, we can say they may um, help with anti-aging or may slow down your aging, but we will see when we know more about it. So, to make short conclusion, please do not mix nootropics with smart drugs. Um, nootropics are natural compounds, they can be synthetic as well, but most of them are natural compounds that have been used for ages, centuries, you know, in different medicines, um, in Ayurveda, in traditional Chinese medicine, for example, with, for all the adaptogen herbs. They work very differently from each category to category. Vitamins work differently than minerals, they work differently than amino acids. You have the adaptogen herbs, you have the mushrooms, um, you have the phospholipids, you have the choline sources, and so on. I mean, each individual nootropic group uh, works differently, but in general, they target your neurotransmitters, um, your hormones, and, and, and they provide positive benefits on how your hormones or neurotransmitters work in your brain. Um, of course, that's not the only way that they work. It really depends from a, a nootropic to nootropic. So yeah, stop mixing them with um, smart drugs because they're not smart drugs. Um, you know, do not expect some magical benefits because um, you won't get them. But if you co constantly take nootropic stacks, so a mix of nootropics, on a daily basis, we've seen studies, we have, we have done a lot of tests and, and we know that you will perform better, you will be more focused, you will have better memory, you will be more productive. I think there is no doubt about it anymore. By the way, guys, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. Use a hashtag AskYourInception and I will weekly answer some of the most interesting questions that I will receive. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, do let me know. Don't forget to follow Your Inception on Facebook and Instagram. And I hope to see you soon. Oh, guys, and don't forget subscribing. Take care.